Aloha, and welcome to Nonstop Tech's iPad app review brought to you by your favorite website, nonstophonolulu.com. I am your host today, Doc Rock, and I am going to guide you through some of the best iPad applications you can find out there in the App Store. Hopefully, I can save you time and money by sorting through the good stuff for you. Today's application, we're going to cover a wonderful application from Riddle.com called PDF Expert. Simply put, PDF Expert is the ultimate solution for all your PDF needs. It fills forms, annotates PDFs, and allows you to sign documents on the go. PDF Expert can be downloaded from the iPad App Store for $9.99. It's good to note that this particular version is iPad only, so make sure you pay attention to that. Now let's check out some of the cool things PDF Expert can do. One of the wonderful things about PDF Expert is its ability to highlight and stamp. To add a highlight, you simply press the highlight icon, select your favorite color, size, and opacity, run your finger across the paragraph, and you so simply can highlight it. Now, one of the other things that the PDF Expert can do is stamping. Pressing your finger in the PDF anywhere and holding for a second, you'll see stamp pop up. Now this allows you to do any of the standard stamps that it comes with, witness, initial, revise, void, you might want to comment, and let's just say sign here, so I'll go ahead and move that there, and once you're done, you just press done. Also you'll notice that if I press another blank space, say stamp again, I can use a custom stamp. Now that's kind of huge, but luckily you can just grab the corners and adjust it to size, place it wherever you need it to go and then say done. That PDF stamp has now been saved. The next feature I want to talk to you about is its ability to leave signatures. In order to sign a PDF, simply press and hold in the white space again, you'll see the signature pop up. Go ahead and press signature and you can add your signature anywhere in the document. Shrink it, expand it, place it wherever it needs to go and just save it. Now, let's just say your name isn't Nonstop Tech. Let me show you how to change the signature. I'm going to press on the signature icon there and just press the white flag and that sort of erases it. Now let's give it a sign and save. Now, if I press again, press signature, you'll see there's my signature once again. One thing to note about signature is you have a selection of blue, purple, or black, but you can also adjust the thickness of the felt. So let's wipe that again. Fancy, yeah? That signature should be worth a couple million dollars soon. Let's go ahead and leave it at one point. Save that. Now, wherever I need to sign, I can just press signature, give it a scale, and there's my signature right there. You have your own autographed copy of As a Man Think of signed for you by Doc Rock. Now, to remove a signature, you can highlight it, you have an opportunity to adjust colors live on the spot, move it around. You can also adjust the opacity here, and let's knock it down to like 50%, or simply put, just delete it. So there is your signatures in PDF Expert. The next feature available is its ability to fill out forms. I'm going to open this document called What's New in PDF Forms. Any fillable Adobe Acrobat form can be saved and used for filling out with PDF Expert. You simply tap on a form fill and add your text as needed. You see you have the next bar or you can hit the toolbar and you can press the little carrot to give yourself a drop down list. You can say how it was done and you have check boxes that you can use to gather information from your clients. Last, you have a text box that allows them to type in anything that they need to get back to you and Simply by pressing submitting feedback, that feedback will then be handed to you and hopefully you can use that to sell more products. One of the best features of PDF Expert I've ever seen and that definitely has to be the ability to fill out forms. PDF Expert also has the ability with a simple tap of a button to allow you to drop drop syncs. With the Dropbox, you can do two-way syncing of any PDFs from your computer, your Dropbox server, or any computers that you might have linked with your Dropbox account. This also works with Google Docs, iDisk, Riedel Storage, and any other generic web dev storage. Press on the network, select the uh, type of server you need to add, and you can see here they have Riedel Storage, MobileMe's iDisk, 
a public IDIS, Dropbox, Google Docs, SugarSync, secure and unsecure FTP servers, and any other type of web dev server. I already have my Dropbox account set up here. I select the folder where I'm storing a bunch of public domain eBooks. And as the list goes, I can grab whichever one of these guys I wanna see. So let's check out Way to Power by L.W. Rogers. It takes just a second for Dropbox to go out and get it. And I have my PDF ready to read. Now, here's a neat feature that I wanted to show you. And this is about the Wi-Fi drive. PDF Expert has the ability to copy files to and from a Mac or PC through your standard USB cable. But they've also added a neat feature called Wi-Fi drive, which allows you to get documents in and out of your iPad simply by using your Wi-Fi network. If we press the network button here, again, go back out to the beginning, you can see at the top, my iPad's address is now HTTP 10.0.1.54. Now this is gonna change according to your Wi-Fi. The green dot here on the side specifies that it is active. Now, one of the great features is the ability to send this by email. I can clear out the form. I can print this and Rito does make a wonderful print application, but we'll discuss that later. But the neat thing is by pressing open in, it gives me a, a chance to open another document or a flattened copy. If I select flattened copy, it gives me the applications I have on my iPad in order to be able to send this document to. Um, lastly, let me show you some wonderful bookmarking features. If I'm reading this book above the lifetime, I mean, above life's turmoil by James Allen, and I wanted to save page four here as a bookmark, I can just press okay, go over to any other page, press bookmark again, I can save. Here I also have the ability to do outlines or annotations. So let me show you how to do an annotation real quick. I'm going to press dun, 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 note and notepad pops up. Go ahead and paste in some text that I already saved because I didn't want to sit here and bore you with typing. Notice there is a trash can here that allows me to get rid of the note. Paste that back in again. And there's my note. Now, if I open this and I look in annotations, you'll see where I have note left. Uh, of the feature that I would like to see is I'd like to see the ability to do voice markup. So I hope my buddies at Rito are listening. Dennis, give me voice markup so I can mock these things up. So there you have it. PDF Expert is a wonderful application for the iPad. And I hope you have really enjoyed this. I've been your host, Doc Rock. And thank you once again for watching Nonstop Tech. Aloha.